Hi, my name is Fernand from Solutions Abroad, and I want to demo to you a really exciting report that I'm making available through my website. So this is a Power BI report that analyzes your YouTube revenue over time. It answers basic questions that you probably won't get just from the YouTube's analytics uh, page, like the average earnings per month or per day, which day of the week is the busiest, or any growth related queries like let's say average percentage growth forecasting or your average monthly growth by your target. If you want to try out the interactive version of this report, I'll leave a link in the description box below of the standalone version so you can try it out for yourself. The report is customizable, so it means you can use your own data with this report and doing it is pretty simple and straightforward. And in fact, I've even created a guide that shows you how to refresh the data uh, in this report. I've also created a page dedicated to usage, which basically just explains how to read the report. All of this is included in the report to get you quickly started with your data. However, if you're more of a visual learner, I'm creating this uh, video as a visual guide on how to use the reports when you get the files. So when you decide to get this report from either of my shops, you will get a zip file, which if you extract it, will get you two files, a PBX file called Depthford and a totals.csv file, which is the source that I used for the report. The PBIX file is the report file and you'll need Power BI Desktop installed in order to open it. And if you don't have it yet, you can download it for free from the Microsoft website. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can download it from there. The first thing that you'll need to do is to link this report to your own data. And to do that, you'll need to export data from YouTube Analytics. So as I said before, there is a refresh page here, which you can just simply follow to export your data from uh, YouTube Analytics. However, we'll go through it together now so you can see exactly what I do. So now we're here in my YouTube Creator Studio where you'll have access to your analytics page. So from here, well, you'll need to do a couple of things. So first, you'll need to go to the Revenue tab. Then you'll need to go to Advanced Mode. You'll need to change the range to Lifetime if you want to analyze the revenue for the lifetime of your channel. And then you'll need to go to export current view. You'll need to click .csv. That will start the download of a zip file, which will contain some CSV files, which gives you some information about the revenue that you've gained throughout the lifetime of your channel. Once you extract that folder from your YouTube analytics, it will have three files. The one that you need is the totals.csv. That's the only file that the Power BI report needs to refresh its report. So copy this file and save it in a location where you can store it and leave it. Basically, the location will be where Power BI will look for the data every time you hit the refresh button. So next time you'll just have to replace the file with the latest version that you export. So for the purposes of this demo, we'll use the totals.csv file that came with the Depthford zip file, which is uh, currently in my desktop along with my Power BI file. So now we're gonna link the Power BI report to this file that we have in this folder. To do that, we're gonna go back to our Power BI report here. I'm gonna go to file, options and settings, data source settings. And then from here, we're going to change the source. There should only just be one. And we're gonna cl click browse here and we're gonna look for that file that we uh, saved. So in this case, we're gonna say, take the totals file from this folder. Hit open, hit okay, and then finally hit close. So once that's done, we're just going to apply the changes just because we've changed the data source itself. Um, and if the data is not updated yet, you just simply click the refresh button. Just give it a few minutes and that should update with the numbers that you have in that file. And that's really it for this guide on how to use your own data with this Power BI report. So I tried my best to keep it as simple as possible to use and import your own data into this report. However, if you still have any problems, reach out to me in the comment section box below so I can help you out. Thanks very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoy this report. See ya.